So hey there, fellas. Today's experiment is going to be... So sometimes you're browsing the internet, right? And you happen to stumble upon some really curious stuff. Now, this type of wheel isn't the sort of fixed oval, triangular or square wheel that doesn't roll but you still attempt to drive on. These guys have gone for a sort of optical illusion. You're looking at a square wheel, but it doesn't rotate, instead it slides and the bike moves. That just looks super cool. I am a big fan. We know where to begin. Round wheels have been a thing for ages, but we're gonna make us a square one. Let's do this. We make sliding square wheels for a car. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check out what we got here. What a nice wheel. We've welded in a piece of stock rim, of course. That's a frame made of square tube. Axes, rollers, a few bearings. This right here is a timing chain. We've welded some strips of metal to that, as you would have seen. And screwed bits of rubber to them that used to be conveyor belt. Down there we have four axes. The reason being that only one side of this is going to be bearing the load. I remember when we drove on those square wheels, they were very difficult to turn over. This isn't meant to turn over, instead it's supposed to glide with one side staying on the ground. We did make a cover for it, which just needs a bit of paint now. In order to conceal all of this, to make it appear as if this is actually a square wheel that allows the car to move. The surface here is smooth, so I don't think it's gonna cause us any issues. Okay, let's throw on just the one and try it out, see how the car drives. Time for some testing. Go ahead, but take it easy. Hey, it works. And very well, too, look at that. It's moving. How does it steer? I'd imagine it's fine while the car is moving. It's a bit heavier. A bit heavier? Okay, back up. Look at that. And they're just the right size. Yeah, that's... There's like five millimeters of clearance. Didn't even have to cut the wheel well. Everything fits, and we are looking very good. I like it. No, it's not gonna rub on this side. It had the potential while turning left, but as a matter of fact, we're good. Excellent. And it looks nice, we better... How's the steering? Good thing this doesn't have the usual welded diff. Yeah, this is a success. Time to put together the second one, then. Cover, paint... To give this a look that's, you know... Aesthetically pleasing. And then it'll be time for the real testing.
So look here, guys. We've brought this lovely thing outside. Those square wheels are in place. Yeah, they look pretty nice. On this side and on that side. The other one actually looks better because it's a wash in sunlight. The square wheels are ready to be tested, let's get to it. Started it. And just like I already said... Yeah, guys. Turning these wheels while it's stationary... ...is tough. That was, of course, conveyor belt, but given that it is rubber, it has got plenty of traction. Turning the wheel at a stop is very hard. Our first step's not inside the facility, but outside on the pavement. Out on the street. And it drives, what do you know? It drives. I am a bit worried, but that's typical. It's always a bit scary to try out something that has just been made. Always expecting something to go sideways. But this is going well so far. Sure-footed? Is everything cool? From the looks of it. From the looks of it, we cool. Everything seems to be all right on my end as well. From inside the car. Whoa, they're quite noisy. But hey, what can you do? There is a bit of metal-on-metal metal action happening. Though it's not as loud as... Honestly, when we had full metal-on-metal metal action with that wheel we made on bearings... It was definitely noisier than this. This is pretty bearable. Backing up. It is so much easier to steer when the car is moving. Forward. I reckon it's time to leave the smooth pavement and... Drive around uh, someplace that is a bit bumpy. I doubt this square wheel is gonna flip. I mean, when we tried driving on some proper square wheels, that was a very hard time. What just happened? A pebble. A pebble, really? Look at that. Such a tiny pebble was able to stop the car? Holy cow! Has to be because of the small radius. Yeah, it got caught and... It got caught between the strips. Hey, we don't have perfectly clean pavement around here. Okay, let's keep going. It's just a tiny pebble. And look at how much trouble it caused. It stopped the car dead in its tracks. It's something that might occur often. In our case, it can easily happen again. Yeah, the surface is far from ideal. But we are making it through, and that is good. Very nice. We are doing well. Tremendous. The going is only going to get worse. Yeah, I might want to back up. Is everything good? It's always nice when things are good. Get over here! Manager? What up? Let's trade. Torturing that poor thing again? You didn't even notice them. Well, I did hear that. I'll trade you these two exclusive wheels 
or a full set for a Tahoe, Escalade, or something along those lines. I don't care. You're trading what now? This pair. Why, you don't like them? I can make more, this is patented tech. Well, I can't make more of mine. Just go to the store and buy a new set. You see how this is set up? You can go remove your wheels now. I'm offering mine with rubber, I want yours with it too. That's fair, right? A 10 mil spanner. Good luck changing these. So we trading or not? Nah. Why no, I thought you agreed. For you to leave. Get the hell out of here. This is the last time I visit you guys. I'm telling you. The ride's good, yeah? Oh, for sure. <laughs> the rear? Yeah, you should make two more for the rear. So that we could watch Vlad push it. It moves. It makes a lot of noise, but it drives. Are we looking good out there? Okay then. If things are good, well, that's good. That was cool, but for some reason these pick up a lot of dust. Yeah, they really pick up a lot of dust. Let's go. Those strips are trying to kick the pebbles and the dust up and everything else. It's as if the thing is scooping up the dust and throwing it into the air. Okay, I'd say the testing was pretty successful. And at the end of the day, well, the pavement outside was fairly smooth, but these were even able to cope with the imperfections. Granted, the pebbles were an issue, but, I mean, the seams were also, well, obviously the radius is pretty small, so certain obstacles are hard to overcome. But it drove. The conveyor belt does look a bit beat up. As you can see, the reinforcement looks a bit fluffy now. But no worries. What matters is this worked, the car drove, and these have a killer look to them. If you have any suggestions? Obviously, it's a rear-wheel drive car, and these weren't the driven wheels. But hey, if you enjoyed this, we'll do all four. Make sure to like the video. So this worked, it was good, these look sick. They are very unusual. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.